This here is uh, Unified 239, and I've got it set up with two access points, one in the front yard, one in the backyard. And I'm running a total of four uh, uh, different networks here, all with different security. Now we're all familiar with this. Um, I haven't installed the 3.0 version yet. And here we have some information about the access points, one's disconnected, and the users, and oh goodness gracious, you know, the uptime and the signal, and the amount of data sent to them, and then you know, guests that are connected, whether to block or authorize them. But it really doesn't tell me a whole lot about what is going on in the network. So I wrote uh, a couple of applications here, and then I sent the data to Splunk. And what this does is it pulls the information um, out of the Unify and sends it out to Syslog, and then we use Splunk to parse the Syslog. So here I've got the RSSI of clients over time, and everyone for 3.0 seems to be looking for a feature called minimum RSSI, and, and a lot of people are under the impression that that may solve their problem. And I guess it could, but I don't think that a lot of people are going to want that feature. Uh, because uh, I suspect that if it's set up in an environment where you're sending out to a number of devices and you don't really have any control over what they are, uh, poor performance on one device can drag down the whole performance for that access point. So for instance, let's take this client here, uh, 97F5, and you know he's, he doesn't have that great of a signal. So let's look and see if that actually affects his quality. 97F5, here he is. Well, wow, he's got pretty high connection quality most of the time. Um, so if we were to cut that off, uh, that device isn't even really affecting the performance of the access point, if connection quality figures in that way. And I suspect that it does. Um, I did other stuff too, uh, to see if there was a correlation between the connection quality and the noise conditions at each access point. And as you can see, the noise floor is, well, you know, well, it's pretty stable. And then here go, here's the uh, statistics about the average connection quality for the access point. I took all these figures here, matched them to the access point, and did an average over time. So here we find that we've got, you know, pretty low connection quality on access point DF62. And that line pretty much corresponds with this one. So the client device, 33 Charlie 6, seems to be the one that is bringing down the performance of the access point. So if we triggered on 33 Charlie 6 here though, see, he's got pretty good signal. So minimum RSSI, well, we're, gonna, we're not going to cut him off, but that's the one affecting the performance. I, I don't really see how that's going to help too much. The, uh, well, these are some other things here. Never mind this. I'm working on this one. And then the client connection distribution. You know, how many devices or clients are connected to that access point. So, but I took it a step further. So, here are the, here's the, where we dump the, uh, the signals. But I wanted to know what exactly my coverage area was. So, let me bring up those events here. This is my neighborhood. and it's rendering the map. We'll wait for it to finish rendering. So I took it a step further and I figured, all right, let's plot out what the receive coverage is. So these little indicators here, and the colors are a bit confusing, but indicate signal quality. To that particular location and it used the uh, GPS and a cell phone. I created a web app which got the location information and I was able to plot the coverage area of my Wi-Fi network uh, with regard to uh, the transmit and receive or the receive rate. So you'll find that it drops off pretty quick right about here. So then what I did is I put a, uh, a directional antenna on it, one of the uh, Unify antennas, and then I walked around again, and that was the difference. So, you know, as you can see, the, the reach is definitely further, but it falls off 
right around here. On a laptop, it's different though, because a laptop has enough power to get back, usually. But handheld device, that's the coverage you can expect. And every single one of these ties back to a particular device ID. So if I wanted to plot out where a device was at a particular date, for instance, let's go here or there, I'd be able to view those events, and here they are. So the device ID of the client is that. So, and again, we have more data and more location. So, getting back to the meat and potatoes of this, I really don't think that a minimum RSSI is going to help at all with the connection quality of the access point. I don't know if that's going to work. I think you're going to need to hit on this. Well, let me know what you think. That's it, folks.